Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We started the EFI conversion on the truck. So what we've gotten so far is we're starting on the fuel delivery system. As you can tell, we've still got the carburation and everything hooked up. So we haven't gotten that far yet. We started with the fuel delivery. So we had to swap out fuel cells. Me and the old man are working on that. How you doing? And uh, we had to swap out fuel cells because the original one had foam in it. Can't have any foam residents when you go in fuel injection because of the high pressure or else it's gonna mess up the pump. So we got a new pump. All set up, ready to go. We got the A1000 Aeromotive fuel system. This is what we're running with. Got the pre-filter hooked up from the feed line of the fuel cell, and that's coming down. That's pretty much where we are. We got a custom bracket set up for the fuel pump. I think it looks good. We tried to color match, powder coat in the frame. It came out really close. So now we're on to running the fuel line from the pump underneath the car to the front where the motor is. So we're gonna run that today, and we're also gonna run the return line, which you see the connectors right there. We're gonna run the return line from the cell to the under part of the front end here. And I'll tell you what we're gonna go over here, the fuel line from the original carburation setup, we had it drop here, and then there's basically just a union connector here. So we're gonna run both the fuel and the return and have our, both of them a union right here. So then we can just run a couple of lines from here to the fuel regulator for the return and the feed. So that's what we're gonna knock out today. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's pretty tight. Oh. Okay, so now. So now we gotta feed it. Okay, so this. Oh, oh shit. Has to go through. This hole here. Also, I have to go up and over. Then I'll connect it and then uh, okay, stop. Okay. There. But now I'm wondering, we're gonna have to run a another one right next to it, though. Yeah. So we'll we'll come down and we'll just come under this. Oh, okay. Okay, you might as well pull that tape off and connect it. And this will go like that. All right. Got the feed line hooked up. So we're going to make a little union junction right there. You can make a bracket to where it could go either like this or it could go like this. It'll be an L here to mount, have it come out with a hole in the middle. You could mount this. That'll hold the that'll hold the lines and the fittings won't make it slide back. Right. Alright guys, there's a lot of brain and ingenuity I going mean, on here. I'll make an L bracket, Kevin. As you can see, this is what we're discussing. We got one of these jobs. There's the factory old bracket here. So we're gonna try to figure out how to make a bracket from here, hook up a dual fuel line harness to basically hold the return and the feed nice, uniform together. So then we'll have another hookup from there. All I have to do is come off of that, either down or up. This will, will screw to it. And right. It'll, it'll be free, it'll be like that. And then we just run the two lines through it. Yeah, we're gonna get that bracket fabricated for now. Let's get the lines ran. Yeah, find out blue works better. All right, lines marked. That's where we're cutting. Hey. Yeah, show get that on film. <laughs> Who's this old man working on your truck? Well, I ought to hire a scab. He's got the senior citizen. Uh, yeah, I got the senior discount on this guy. So help a senior day. So I had a. Veterans of America. Oh, veterans of America. Not a veteran. A veteran hot rodder, that's for sure. Getting loaded. Beautiful. Is it going to be an issue now with the fitting on there? Nope. I just got to get my hand in there. Pull out a little bit. I don't like pulling. I know. More. All right, now go back. Go. If you can reach, connect it. If not, if I can reach, listen to this guy. Okay, so now the existing hose, where the hell is it? It's about to run. I remember back in my early hot rod days, I didn't have no vice or nothing, man. I had a 
manhandled. All right. <laughs> I don't see what that does. But, but that doesn't matter now. No, it will. Out. It will, because I have to go underneath here. There. That matters. That actually worked out better. That matters on the, the second time that we. Okay. Because we have to pull this back off again. Keep going. Okay, stop. There, you got it, I think. That's good. It's gonna run parallel like that. We'll have a couple of clamps holding those two lines together. Look really nice and uniform. When there, I already have it tapped and I have that tapped. And then once it groups up here. And then we do one there. We'll do a clamp there. So now we we'll just measure the end and we'll cut that and put the, the end on it. I'm gonna go and mark it right there. Pretty much the same Let's with the see, feed. Uh... Glimpse of the future. See this pump filter? You'll be seeing that on another build very shortly. <laughs> that might be going on my 70. It will. Got that folks? Stay away from Summit brand AN fittings. Okay, All right, that we could run. This so is let's run that. Return lines are fed, hooked up. I'll do one out of two. Compressor with a six liter tank, five dollars. Five gallons. Now everything is buttoned up under here. Much cleaner. Then you fill up the fuel line set up through here. Zip tied. Oh, there it is. Running all the way through. So we got all the fuel line ran all the way to right here to where we're going to mount that custom bracket. Yeah, huh? Yep. Think I'm going to drop this? I've seen it. I've seen it happen. Only reason why I'm doing this because it was it's already tapped. I might as well run them all, huh? It's fine. I guess one there. Yeah, as close as you can. Are you gonna drop anything? A good chance. Something might happen. Yep, there it is. <laughs> there it is. The old man dropped it. Look at that, guys. Aren't those trick looking or what? So we're gonna run another one a little bit further downstream. Make sure everything looks good. Is it nice and uniform? And yes, folks, these are some China brand eBay special clamps, but you know what? They're nice. They look freaking good. They're anodized, they're aluminum. They're not plastic, and you know what? Once they're all on, you ain't gonna tell the difference. Wow, that looks slick. Look at that. Runs all nice and straight. Right across, coming down, and all the way tucked in under the body. Looking good. But uh, this uh, custom stuff takes time, man. Don't ask me why these bolts are that long. Why are those bolts that long? <laughs> I told you not to ask me that. <laughs> See if there's another black clamp. Yeah, there is right there. You mean this right here? No, that's a... That's black. I know, but it's not the right one. It this to... one. <sighs> now, am I gonna drop it? No, I stuck it through that already. I could still drop the wrench. Yep. All right. Well, it doesn't, it, it's pretty good. Actually, you know, I could probably bend this out a little bit. You spent all the time to drill and tack. You might as well run them. It was for the original setup. Yeah. Then after that's in, we're gonna run one of the, another one of those blue anodized dual clamps there. And this is, uh, this will be pretty much all buttoned up from the tank to the front of the engine. And then once we get to the front of the engine, then we have to do some more fabrication there. Then also, as you can tell over here, we got the breather line 
that we just got basically running down, tucking in there. We'll have a nice little clamp or bracket to hold that there. We can't just leave it like that. That's just not how we do things here. Come on, get it in there. Well, cause it's up against the bracket. What's that noise? It's just the shifting of the weight of the car. Are you leaning on it? Yeah. Fat ass? You get it? Hell no. Okay. And then now we'll just put a dual clamp over there and we'll call it. You should be able to reach that. What are you doing with the wrench? Well, no, the pump has to come off, remember? We have to put the O-ring on. Right, so I don't know what you're doing with that. I don't know. You're just, just, Dad, come on, grab the blue, the clamp. <laughs> so this is what happens when we work the, the old man too hard. He's getting a little, the guy needs a break. Where it crosses the center there. Start it loose, so then you can slide it. You need me to, all right, now, give that a tight roni. Don't drop the wrench. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the feed and the return from fuel cell to the front of the engine is complete. Looking pretty snazzy. You might need to grab it. Oh man, that was way better. What a difference, huh? Definitely cleans it up. You can we, mount that. We might as well mount this because this this part is done. Yeah. First one we're going to do is that one. You got an extension on there or what? Here, use this little thing. It's nice. Use this little thing. It's nice. Use this little ratchet. It's nice. Use this little ratchet. It's nice. Got it. So you're saying you want me to use this? It's nice. Yeah, I found that thing. I was dirt bike riding. It's a snap on too. I know. I'm talking back in the 70s. I thought I saw on those. Just zip it down here. Cut this zip tie off and we'll do on oh no, because that kind of holds that. Because we could use one zip tie for both of those. Or put another protector over there. No. Or straight down. Put it over there. Yeah, okay. Put it up here. Uh-huh. Good. Definitely looks better. Well, that cleaned up that area. Looks nice with the fittings and stuff. Okay. The only ones are holding is the two top ones. Oh, but and you, and you tightened this one. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. No. You tightened that. Did I? Yes, you did. I guess I did. Just make sure that inner one doesn't tighten. It's tough to. You having trouble screwing or what? I'm 64 years old. Did a lot of screwing. This is unscrewing. <laughs> Special nuts here with O-rings. Yep. Be careful when you do this so you don't break the O-rings. We wouldn't be doing this if someone didn't break the O-ring. <sighs> yeah, that was me. And that O-ring goes right here. And we have a brand new package right here that we bought. Unfortunately, you have to buy 10. Really stupid. And since there's wires, we have to go around this way. Gotta go the long way. And I think maybe we'll... Uh, I think you gotta put some grease on that too. Not grease, but maybe just a little... A little WD or something WD. So, it, so it slides. Here is rocket oil. It's, it's when I used to build rockets. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, line up the, the bolts and just kind of. See? It's not in. It's in. No, it isn't. 
I can see the O-ring. Oh. And then you turn it to line up the, the bolts. See the hole in there? There you go. Last time the person used a mallet. You should not have to use a mallet. Hey, when in doubt, beat it. We don't gotta go that crazy on it either. I'm having flashbacks. Okay. I mean, let me tell you guys a story. I was building a big block years ago, and the old we man here. We don't need to get into that. The old man wanted to help me with the build, and he decided to, you know, start cranking on the cam bolts. He goes, "Oh yeah, they need to be tight. They need to be tight." And sure enough, snap, snaps the cam bolt. So ever ever it was, since then, I, <laughs> it was a weak bolt. <laughs> ever since then. I never let him down on that and uh it wasn't uh he's mr torker of the wrench it wasn't high tensile steel you're gonna have to take it off again i'll hold it okay those bolts out could have matched the pan a little better but you know it's fine actually it's if, fine if you didn't say anything i don't think any, anybody would know you guys what do you think because I went, How I put, close is that I put it match? through the, the 6509 paint matching guide. Oh, did you? To, to match that. 6509. Yeah, it's a special uh, software. Okay, you got the wrench for that? Fit that? Oh, it does. And if I remember correctly, you don't need to. How we did it. That's how I did it. I think That's how I did it when you were farting around with selling crates. Well, someone has to make money for it support this hot rod habit that I have. Yeah. So the bigger one. And then, then we can actually bench test it. Remember the first time, it's three quarters. Okay. But when I'm tacking freaking nine grand, I don't want to lose the fuel pump. That's right, baby. Since the pump is mounted, I'm gonna install the back, the back line. Try this one. Okay, that's in. So guys, that'll pretty much wrap up today's portion. We will be continuing the fuel delivery in the next segment. We're gonna be finishing up from the front here to the regulator, but we're still unsure about the placement of the regulator since all of this is gonna be going. So we don't know 100% the configuration for the injection because we're still we're still waiting on a bunch of parts. We're still waiting on the Ingerly injection top hat and some of the injectors, the manifold, some little stuff like that. Because a lot of the stuff is custom. So once we get that back, we'll be able to rock and roll on this. But until then, see you next time. Peace.